afternoon or evening, ladies and gentlemen. How is everybody doing today? I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you're all healthy. I hope you guys got the chance to get out yesterday into the beautiful weather. It was an absolutely gorgeous day yesterday, guys. So I hope you guys got a chance to at least, if nothing else, just step outside and either stand out there for a minute or walk around or a little bit or do something just to get outside uh, and kind of get out of hibernation a little bit. Um, hopefully you got the chance to do that, guys. So today is going to be a very easy day, guys. Um, we shouldn't have a whole lot of questions. I will try to explain uh, everything that I can and try to answer whatever questions you might have uh, today uh, in this video, for today in this video, there we go, um, and try to kind of take and make sure that I make everything as clear as I possibly can. So today is going to be a pretty easy day, like I said, guys. Uh, today is going to uh, be a day where you get to work on your unit eight key terms. You're not going to be expected to finish them. Uh, you are not going to be required uh, yet to finish them for homework. Um, but I want you guys to get a head start. At least try to take and do the first set of key terms. Uh, because if you are able to do that, and if you do do that, you won't have any homework tomorrow. I will assign the first set of key terms for homework tomorrow, just so you guys know. So if you can actually go ahead and finish uh, the first part, the first seven terms, you should have no homework tomorrow and be ahead of the game. So just so you guys know, just so you're aware of that. Um, today, like I said, you're going to be working on your unit eight key terms. Uh, we will work on our unit eight key terms. Uh, there is no due date yet. Each section will be assigned as we go through the unit. Um, my office hours today are from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. and from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Okay, so going on down to the teacher lesson, I would like you guys to please work on the unit eight key terms that are posted in Google Classroom. Get as far as you can, each section will be assigned as we go through the unit, but today is a chance to give you guys a head start. Please make sure you type them out on Google Docs and share them with me when you are ready to hand them in. That is a requirement, guys. Please don't handwrite them on a separate sheet of paper and then take a picture and send it to me. I can't read it. I have a hard time seeing it. So the best thing for you guys to do is type them up and send them to me. That's what I would like you guys to do. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have been making comments as we as you guys have handed them in. Hopefully you have seen those. If you have not, please let me know and I'll make sure that I figure out why you're not seeing the comments and stuff like that. So what I want to go ahead and do, guys, is I just want to show you what this is going to look like on Google Classroom and what this is going to be on Google Classroom. So you guys are pretty much well aware. You you know what to expect. You know what you're going to see. But I just there are a couple things I just want to make sure that I mention. So obviously, we know that the Google Slides are right here. This is what you opened up to watch this video, obviously. Your unit eight key terms are right here. And then this unit, unit number eight, is going to take and pull from two textbook modules, module eight and module nine. And what I want to take a second to do is I want to take a second to kind of talk about, um, show you guys in the key terms uh, where you will use module eight and where you will use module nine. So you are 100% certain and you don't take and get really confused and give up on it. That's what I don't want you to do. So if we go ahead and we click this, Key terms 1 through 15, you will find in module 8. So key terms, this section here, 1 through 7, 8 through 11, and 12 through 15, you will find in module 8. And then key terms 16 through 25, you will find in module 9. So make sure you know that, guys. Make sure you are aware of that so that you are able to complete this and to complete this very easily. Okay, so that's what I wanted to make sure that I covered with you guys and what I wanted to make sure that I mentioned. Module 8 and Module 9 are right here, so please make sure you use those. Okay, and the only thing you have for today, guys, is to work on your Unit 8 key terms. Okay, so our Unit 8 key terms, we're going to start getting into the War of 1812 and kind of a renewed aggression with Britain. 
uh, that we are going to have uh, in 1812 that is going to take and um, kind of be considered another mini revolutionary war. And we'll talk a little bit about that uh, over the next few days. So that's what you're going to work on. You're going to work on your unit eight key terms. And then after you finish your unit eight key terms, you're going to come to this check for learning. You're going to click on it and you are going to take and answer the question that it asks you. That is the extent. Oops. That's not what I wanted. That's also not what I wanted. So that's the extent of what you're going to be doing today, guys. Just making sure you take and work on the key terms. Excuse me. Sorry, guys. Making sure you're working on the key terms and then making sure you're doing the check for learning. So make sure you get those done. Make sure you have all that completed. Once that's done, you're all set with social studies today, guys. Um, if you have any questions, just as one more reminder, my office hours are from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Alrighty, guys, that is everything I have for you today. I hope you have a stupendously awesome day today. I hope you enjoy yourselves. I hope you find this to be easy. And if you have any questions, reach out to me. I will catch you guys tomorrow for the start of our Unit 8 War of 1812 unit. Have a great day, guys.